In the second chapter of the Yoga Sutras, Patanjali names Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga is the yoga of action. It's his second set of practices. And he says, this practice is for those of a moderate disposition. We could say a householder made up of tapas, application, svadhaya, self-study, and ishvara pranidana, surrender. But the term surrender does not capture the direct translation. The term ishvara is God. And there's a whole debate around whether or not Yoga is therefore theistic. Does it posit a God? Does it require a God? And mostly as a translation or within a classroom context, I just simply use the word surrender. Drawn as a circle, the Kriya, from application comes self-reflection comes letting go in order to act again. So one leads to the next, to the next, and again, recreates the first. Ishvara Pranidana, surrender. At a very pragmatic level, at the level of using your body. Every time you use a muscle, another muscle, its antagonist needs to let go. So whilst people see stretching as an activity of pulling on something, one set of muscles act, another must let go. And if that second set do not let go, then the body shakes, effort increases. We could say in the letting go comes the action. To me, the practice of Kriya Yoga or the application of Kriya Yoga inside a practice involves a questioning, not just of what you're doing and how to act more efficiently with greater alignment. It involves a level of self-recognition we act, tapas, we observe our actions, not merely for re refinement, but to observe what it is that we bring to the practice. Some more inclined to want to be precise. They engage in detail and they always assert the detail. So they seek certainty through the detail. Others, become fearful. When challenged, they pull back. Some push further. The simple statement is that we don't all do the same thing when we do asanas. And this level of observing oneself is part of the swadhaya. But surrender is a more subtle, quality. What is it that you put down? What is it that you step away from in order to act? Is letting go of things simply discarding things that you no longer have involvement with? You're done with that old thing and you're ready for your upgrade. Is that letting go? The whole question of surrender sits around or within the context of what you're attached to, what's important, what you seek to gain. The study of surrender within a path of action is a significant area of inquiry. Come up now, make your way to Ford Virasana. 